So today, disaster struck when I wanted to fix my excavator fuel tank. You can see here I got a stripped out broken brass fitting stuck up in there. Uh, the rest of this video is how this adventure played out. Okay, so here's the question of the day. Uh, did I make a good choice in when I went to replace the broken John Deere ball valve for draining the fuel tank? Did I make a good decision in purchasing a, uh, uh, a $10 Amazon valve rather than their $160 ball valve? Uh, I've already kind of attached this little fitting and this plug. I got those as well here. Uh, we'll see if this thing goes on. I may need to put on some thread tape or something, um, but we will see, see how this goes. I'd pressure washed out the fuel tank the day before and it's dry down there, but still a little kind of crusty and rusty. Uh, not much I can do though. Right up there is where it'll plug in. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's see if that goes in. Well, it's going in. I'll have to try to tighten it up. Got a little plug down here too. We'll tighten all that up and see if it holds the fuel. And if it does, I save myself quite a bit of money from the John Deere one, which had broken anyways, and a little ball valve thing inside of there. You can see it won't open or shut anymore. And that's just a rubber seal, it got old or what. Probably was been on there since 1996. The mistake I made here was not using thread tape. Ah! Well, I just uh, took two or three gallons out of my diesel can, put it into the excavator as a test. I see no leaks whatsoever from this assembly. Saved myself $150 over the John Deere option. Looks pretty good to me. Check it again after I put another 66 gallons in, see how it goes. Got 30 gallons here. I'm going to pump and clean out with uh, my uh, goldenrod glass filter. And if that works, I'm going to be going over and putting uh, more out of my fuel storage tank into it. And then it should be good to go. I'm going to add biocide and stable fuel to it. And hopefully, hopefully it does okay. This little end piece just snapped right off when I was twisting it. Let's see where it goes on. Piece of crap. Everything I work on out here takes me 10 times longer than expected. I had a new goldenrod filter and I tried to attach it to my fuel pump and the bottom of it uh, was leaking out and I tried tightening it and I think I broke the bottom dealy. So now I'm reattaching my my old fuel filter, and I'm gonna use that to pump back in. Uh, took me an extra 45 minutes, I guess. So here it's all installed, but and I'm checking it out for leaks. Unfortunately, it did start to leak, so I started to tighten it. I didn't have thread tape, and it broke. A disaster struck. I broke off my brass fitting and the bug, so now it's all draining out again. I was over tightening it. I was putting a wrench on that brass fitting, trying to get a little tighter. I think that the valve, my Chinese valve, may have dripped a little bit when I turned it. Um, and then that's how I was trying to tighten it. And I caused this. I just finished filling the whole damn thing, putting the thing all together. And now I'm back worse than I started because now I got a brass fitting I gotta figure out how to take out of there. Uh, probably shouldn't have put all that muscle into it. I should have sat there and thought about what I was doing first. I don't think enough about what I'm doing a lot of times. I just do it. An extra 30 seconds of thinking would have saved me. It's gonna be hours of trouble probably. Here's the uh, piece that broke off.
I didn't really think about how much pressure I could put on a brass fitting. Too much. Too much. Not that, not, not as much as I thought I could put on it. Yeah, that's frustrating. I spent about the next hour being super depressed on this 95 degree day trying to think of things to try. And so I Google search things and I tried this screwdriver method that did not work. Okay, I chiseled this thing in there. I'm not sure if it's in far enough. I'm gonna try and put a wrench down the bottom here. I'm trying to figure out what size. Not three quarter. What I did end up doing was getting an extractor tool for my neighbor. I ordered one online for myself as well and kind of drilled this thing out more or less and then uh, was able to extract the pieces. Unfortunately, the steel threads were all still there, so I was able to work on it. I uh, was able to pick all of it out using a little pick dealy. Um, here's my fresh fitting. Unfortunately, I got two from on Amazon. I was wondering why in the world I'd need two. Here I'm using thread tape, which I should have done the first time, and I wouldn't have had leaks, probably. Uh, now it's up in there with the thread tape on there, not leaking. And, uh, oh, thank God, it's running. Hopefully my fuel drain is not leaking at all. Put a piece of paper here under here to help me see if it's going to leak again. No leak, hell yeah.